Hello, Dr. Irene Butter. Hi! Dear Dr. Irene Butter. Thank you, uh, Dr. Irene Butter, for coming to uh, our school. I, it was so cool to hear your story. You are so strong to have survived all this. We are honored that you came to our school. We all think it's incredible that you have went through it all and never gave up. I was grateful for the opportunity to meet Dr. Butter. I think that you were really brave for sharing your story. You have lived through so much and been to the been to so many countries, from Germany to Holland, from Westerbeck to Bergen-Belsen, and to Algeria and the United States. It's like a really inspirational and good thing to learn about while we're still young and still can comprehend it and meet someone who lived through this event. I was capable of resonating with you because because I, I have actually, myself and my and my family, have experienced anti-Semitism. My favorite part of your presentation was watch, seeing the pictures. I like how you came to our school and you shared about what happened with the Holocaust and how you weren't afraid to share about it because you wanted for everybody else to know about what happened. And I really appreciate that because it helped me understand what the Holocaust was really like. Um, thank you, Dr. Irene Butter. Your speech really affected me and helped me learn a lot more about the Holocaust. Your um, presentation was very inspirational to me. And um, because I go to Jewish summer camp and every year we have a Holocaust commemoration. And now I know a lot more about the Holocaust I can share with them. Uh, for me, it really gave me a different perspective and still kind of I can't comprehend that it's not that just you're talking about it, it's that you actually went through it and you lived through that time and I think that's very powerful. I just want to say thank you. I think your stuff was really inspirational and you like kind of gave me the courage to never give up and kind of pursue your dreams. So I think that's amazing. Uh, I feel like sometimes that the Holocaust is like under like recognized maybe sometimes because you know there's people that don't believe it's real or even like I was like in a service on Holocaust like Memorial Day um, at my synagogue and like we didn't really do that much we just like kind of took like a minute of silence and that's pretty much it. So. Many individuals were capable of personally resonating with you because they possess P personal or family experiences of anti-Semitism. I think everyone took away something from the speech that you made and we can be better as a community now that you came and taught us about that. Thank you for coming to Tappan Middle School to tell us about your journey. You inspired us middle schoolers to keep going even though times get hard. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us about all of this. You are very inspirational, Dr. Butter. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Butter, for coming and talking to us. Thank you for coming. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.